taken away to start a sentence that will never end. And outside, a crowd waited for Steve Wright. These are people who wanted him out of the town where he killed. Also leaving court, the relatives of those he murdered. Have your reaction to the sentence, please. Result. He should never come out. Tanya Nichols' aunt reflecting the family's satisfaction because Steve Wright was given the maximum sentence under British law. The judge said it was the only option after a campaign of murder. But that campaign was stopped by detectives who turned to science. I shan't forget it, 7pm, Sunday the 17th of December, when I got the information that his DNA was on three of the victims, clearly crucial. And that identification process started here, and a relatively minor crime Wright committed when he was working as a barman. Because Steve Wright stole £80 from that till. It cost him his job here and it got him a community service order. But it also put his DNA on the national database, and ultimately that would help convict him of murder. The UK's DNA database is the largest of any country. Four years ago, the law was changed, so now police can take DNA samples from anyone arrested and detained for a recordable offence. There are 4.5 million profiles now on the DNA database. The police say that within that number are most of the active criminals operating in the UK. It's around 7% of the total population. There is no doubt that if we had a larger database, we would solve more crime. But at the same time, we have to recognise that there are all sorts of public interest issues here, and there needs to be a debate about whether the powers that the police service has uh, needs to be extended. The idea that the DNA database is a magic wand which can solve everything is a nonsense. It is a useful, powerful tool for detection. But the police should not... In my